I don't hate Christmas. I just hate what Christmas has become. So, grab your coffee. Sorry, Wayne. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, Jeff here from That Bold Life, your weekly encouragement to help you live a bold life for Jesus. So like I said in the beginning, I don't hate Christmas. To be completely honest, I love Christmas. I love getting out, setting up the Christmas tree with my family. I love Christmas carols most of the time. That's not true. About the second week in December, I'm tired of listening to Christmas music on the radio. Sorry, it had to come out, okay? But I love the Christmas season. I do, I even like buying gifts for people and I like receiving gifts. I'm human like everyone else. I just don't like what Christmas has become. And I'm not saying I'm perfect, I'm not saying I do everything right, but it seems like to millions of people across the world that celebrate Christmas, all it has become is some fat man in a red suit and getting presents. And that's the part I don't like, is we have taken the true meaning of Christmas completely out of it. So before I begin my possible rant, I wanna tell you guys a story. So in 1986, a reactor test failed causing Unit 4 of Chernobyl's nuclear power plant to explode. This released a deadly amount of radioactive material into the environment, and the death toll was in the thousands. Now, if you haven't heard of Chernobyl, uh, just to give you a little backstory, in 86, it exploded. It was a nuclear power plant, and it exploded, and it is still thought to be radioactive to this day. It was a catastrophic event. But during the course of those events, there were a few heroes to emerge. I want to tell you about these men. I'm sorry, I'm going to read these because I really don't think I can pronounce them for you, but Alexei Anoniko, who was an engineer, and then there were two soldiers, Valery Bezpalov and Boris Baranov. Um, these are obviously not English names, so I apologize if I mispronounce them. But I want to tell you what these three men did. So during the disaster, there was this giant pool of water. It was used to cool the pumps and the steam pipes, but it malfunctioned and it became radioactive. And the engineers there knew if the water was not drained, it would cause a thermal explosion and the damage would have been catastrophic. However, there was no way to drain this water without going all the way through the water to the other side. It was literally a suicide mission. And these three men accepted the task. Alexei was the engineer, he knew how to turn it off. The two soldiers accompanied him to make sure the job got done. They knew getting into that water, they would not survive. It was radioactive, there was no way that they could survive this encounter. Yet they put on their scuba gear and they swam through this radioactive waste to drain out the water. These three men were held as heroes, even though Chernobyl was catastrophic in itself. It could have been so, so much worse. Millions more could have died. But instead, these three men showed true heroism and swam through this radioactive water to drain out the water. They would, in the coming weeks, die of radiation poisoning. They say it is a extremely excruciating death. No one was actually even allowed around them without special suits on. These three men knew all of that before they walked into the water. They were true heroes. I tell you that because that is truly what Christmas is about. Not Chernobyl, but it was a hero knowing his fate when he came to earth. I'm sorry, Christmas is not about Santa Claus. And it's not about getting presents, it's about his presence. You see, Christmas is when God knew the circumstances, God knew our pain, God knew our suffering, God knew our sin, yet He sent His Son to be born of a virgin on Christmas Day, debatable, to be born of a virgin for one reason. You see, the Christmas story doesn't end with the baby in a manger. It ends with that baby growing up, living a perfect, sinless life. It ends with that seven pound, six ounce baby Jesus going and taking our beatings, going and taking our torture, going and taking our cross to pay for our sins. And to say that Christmas is about gifts and Christmas trees is like saying those three men at Chernobyl swam to the bottom of that radioactive waste to save a penny. It's insurmountable to what they were really doing it for. Jesus didn't come 
so that we could give each other gifts. He came to be the gift for us that we could ultimately have salvation. That's the true meaning of Christmas. You wanna know why I hate Christmas? It's because we've turned it into something it's not. Christmas isn't about giving each other presents. It's not about some chubby guy in a red suit coming down our chimney. It's not about reindeers and it's not about eggnog. It's about Jesus Christ, the Son of God, coming from heaven to be born in a manger so that he could live a perfect sinless life, so that he could take our pain, our suffering, our sins. He could go up on the cross and buy our freedom once and for all. That is what Christmas is about. Now, I don't mind the tree. I have a giant tree up in my living room. I don't mind the presents. I'm excited to see my daughter open hers. But I don't want us to ever forget what Christmas is truly about. It's all about Jesus. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right here. I release content just like this every single week. All right, guys, keep living a bold life and Merry Christmas.